Example 1 here on the binomial expansion is just taking a look at using the binomial expansion. So here we're asked to expand 1 plus 2x all squared. Now clearly here this would just be two brackets that you could expand using a method such as FOIL or the CLAR method. However here what we want to do is use the binomial expansion to show how we would expand this. So here we just use our general result. So using the binomial expansion here we obtain 2 choose 0 times by 1 squared there. Okay. We now add on 2 choose 1 times by 1 to the power of 2 minus 1 and then we times this by 2x. Okay. And finally here we have 2 choose 2 times by 2x squared times by 2x squared and then it would times by 1 here to the power of 2 minus 2 which would just give us 1 there. Okay, so 1 power 2 minus 2, well that's 1 to the 0, so that would just give us 1 like we said. Okay, so here now what we need to do first is find our binomial coefficients. So here 2 choose 0, and remember you can just simply use your calculator to find these. This is equal to 1. Okay, 2 choose 1 simply gives us 2 there, and finally 2 choose 2 simply gives us 1 as well. So therefore in that case 1 plus 2x all squared. Well just using our binomial coefficients here and applying that to these expressions here so 2 choose 0 is 1 times by 1 squared which just gives us 1. So we get 1 plus so 2 choose 1 is 2 so that's 2 times by 1 times by 2x. That gives us 2 times 2x and finally here 2 choose 2 is 1 we times that by 2x all squared so that's going to give us 4x squared and finally we times that by 1 so all we get there is 4x squared so simply all we need to do now is simplify this bracket here and 1 plus 2 times 2x will simply give us 4x and finally plus 4x squared there okay and that gives us the expansion of 1 plus 2x all squared there. So that gives us the solution to example 1 there. Example 2 here on the binomial expansion is taking a look at finding coefficients. So here we want to find the coefficient of x cubed in x plus a to the power of 6. Now first let's identify the x cubed term. So the x cubed term here is going to be 6 choose 3 so that's 6 choose 3 times by x cubed times by a to the 6 minus 3 there. Okay, so what we want to do first here is evaluate 6 choose 3. So 6 choose 3 is simply equal to 20. So that gives us 20. And we also know that a to the 6 minus 3 will give us a cubed. So a to the 6 minus 3 will give us a cubed and a cubed will give us 512. So all we need to do now is put all of this together. So therefore our x cubed term, so therefore the x cubed term is simply evaluated as 512 times 20 x cubed. Okay. So all we need to do here is 512 times 20 and that gives us 10,240 x cubed there. So our coefficient then of x cubed is 10,240. So coefficient is 10,240. Okay. And that gives us the solution to example two there.